OK, John, so what is your thoughts uh, following Tuesday's Derby penalty shootout win? Yeah, really pleased. Um, I thought I thought it was it was more of a competitive game, to be honest, than, than I thought it might be. Um, I know it's a local derby and, and there's a little bit of uh, extra when there's a local derby, so I understand that. Uh, does the County Cup always bring that up? I, I don't think it does. Um, but even going back to when I was here in 88, 89, there was a rivalry, Maidstone and, um, and Jill's. Um, I, didn't, I didn't actually see the game, but um, the, the season that Maidstone come into the league and played Jill's, I think they played Jill's, I think they were quite feisty games. So I was prepared for it to be a bit feisty, but it was feisty on and off the pitch. I thought that made it a great atmosphere. Um, I thought we showed good resilience going a goal down and going 2-1 uh, down to, to come back uh, and I thought it was a, a really good game I thought that their team was a little bit stronger than I thought um, I think the boy Tilt I think scored the goal that knocked Cardiff out the FA Cup I think the boy Lacey at the back played for me at Luton and I know they think a lot of him and I thought they had two or three like very, very good players. So I was pleased with our performance. I was pleased with our resilience. And I thought, it, although we changed the team a little bit, I actually thought that it was in line with uh, Haven and Waterlooville, uh, Wrexham. I thought much improved. You know, we're moving the ball. The hardest thing we've found is to get the players to move the ball quick and to recover quick. And the work that's been put in, you know, I just felt that you know, it's, it's beginning, I think it's beginning to show. Like you say there, how important is it that we, regardless of what division we're in next year, that we have those building blocks and get a little bit of positive momentum? It, it's, it's massive, you know, it, it really is. Um, regardless of, of who is here next year, that we have a philosophy of, um, of that, how I play um, and and people, when people say to you, yeah, you know, you have this, this way and these ideas, and I go, well, I do, because wh wherever I've been, I've used them. You, you have to modify, you, you do have to modify, of course you do. And, and the game has changed over the years, and you, you just change, chop and change things. But by and large, you know, it's, it's, it's never let me down. I think it, it makes a strong team. And I also think it makes strong players because of the amount of players that we've had that have moved on to play at a higher level. And I, people say I like young, hungry players. I like hungry players. If they're young, that's great as well. But I like hungry players. And I think the hunger um, in the team the last few games, I think, has been quite evident. And it is just if people are hungry, uh, that makes them work a little bit harder and put a little bit more in. And, I'm just feeling that you know that, that we're finding sort of that way is that honestly that there is a long a long way to go and you know people say to me now have, have I given up on this season? Not at all. If someone tells me you can't win six, seven, eight games on the truck, I'm going to tell them well people have done it before. Can we do it? I don't know, but my my belief is that whoever you play and wherever you play them. You can't play it as a defeatist. You've got to play it as a positive. This is, we're going to win today. You're going to go out and we're going to win. We're going to work hard, work harder than them. We're going to use all of our skills and we hope it's our day. You can do no more than that. But I, I have seen positive steps. But I've seen positive steps in training as well. This is, you know, the first few weeks, I didn't see, see too many, if I'm honest. But gradually I've seen more positive steps and I, I, you know, I always say that the road to success is never a straight road. It's like any other road. It's uphill, it's downhill, it's round, bends, it twists and it turns. But you just wait till you get on that consistent bit of the M1 that just takes you all the way and follow the yellow brick road, as I keep saying. So it, it is, you know, all of it is just a bit more positive. There's going to be ups and downs, but the fortunate thing is I act, I'm not fooled. I know where I am as well with, with everybody. So. Over the last few games, I think we've, looked, we've seen a lot more cohesive and fluid. We must be pleased, pleased at what you're trying to 
imprint on the players is starting to show on the pitch? No, absolutely. Um, the, the, the work on the training ground, it, it's taken time just to get people to understand so to understand it and, and listen I'm not stupid I don't you know sometimes you can an affect you can affect one person but trying to affect a group of people because they're all individuals they're all different and you might have to work a certain way with this person but it don't work with that person and that don't work with so the time that you spend doing it you know you have to find different ways of affecting people and gradually I feel we have, we, we have, we have started to affect people and that's affected the team um, but we can actually be better than we, we actually can be better than, than, than we are and I know I know we'll have blips because I've I've seen it done before but it's shown me that they can pick it you know they can pick it up and but it's picking it up and the next line is the line that says consistency consistency the best teams I always say the best teams are not the teams that win 6-1 and then draw 1-1 and lose 1-0 and then win 4-1. Best team that every week the level of performance is exactly the same and the results by and large are the same. They, they win 2-0, they win 2-0, they win 1-0, they draw 1-1, they win 2-0, they lose 1-0. There's never a big gap between because their level of consistency. And the teams up in the top of the league are the best team because they're the most consistent. Normally that's how it works. So consistency is the thing we've got to have. And so tomorrow we look forward to another Kent Derby after Tuesday's game. Yes. I'm not looking forward to that. Yeah, I am. Um, I think we all are. Um, because I think, as I say, I, 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 and you know what I always say with derbies, um, I think sometimes even any sort of form can go out the window. I remember Glenn Hoddle many, many years ago when he was manager of Chelsea saying it's hard for Chelsea to win the league because there's so many derbies. And I can remember him saying it. And, and I do go along with that. I think derbies are the hardest games to win. Um, but they're the best games to play in and the best games to support. So everything about it is perfect. So, you know, can't wait.